vlog. It's 2.33. I should get home 10 minutes to 3 in the morning. I'm so glad to be back. It's 62. So pretty chilly. And I have to get up for Rose Bowl in 24 hours. So once that happens, I pretty much time is on the clock. So basically I have 24 hours until I have to wake up for the Rose Bowl. And once that happens, time is on the clock for me to vent and go to the airport. So in the next 24 hours, I need to sleep, I need to teach my two clients, I need to pack, I need to water the plants, I need to pack Evie's bag, drop her off to the sitters. So it's gonna be a jam-packed 24 hours. So give this video a thumbs up. Are you guys ready to see what I came home to? First of all, Look at the mess from my tree. This is the reality of having the space I have with the tree above me. And I literally was gone for five days. Take a look at it. I mean, look at how my furniture gets messed up. Look at how my plants gets messed up. The squirrels. I mean, this whole place is trashed. And unfortunately, something really bad happened and we're going to walk there in a second. But literally, I came back at 3 in the morning and I was out here at 3 to 4 in the morning dealing with what I came home to, which is my greenhouse face down and all of my plants in there ruined. So let's go there. Here is the mess. Now imagine this greenhouse face down and all of my plants that I've worked so hard over the years that was living in the greenhouse ruined. Literally every single plant was out of the planter. A lot of them died. I don't know when this happened. It could have happened immediately after I left to Las Vegas. I don't know and I have to now throw away the greenhouse and I'll show you in a second why and I have to see what I can salvage from this situation at this point I mean I don't know what I can save to be honest my heart is really broken so this is definitely something I never imagined would happen. I had this greenhouse for many years, you guys seen on the channel, and it never ever fell. And the thing is, is that it's underneath this tree, and it was literally wedged into the tree branches. So I don't know how it could fall forward. And the, the greenhouse is filled with plants. So how could it fall face down with plants on every single space in this greenhouse i'm still shocked i don't know how it happened now the question is because i'm leaving tomorrow out of the country for two weeks what do i do with my plants i have such a filled day today i have to teach my clients today i have to pack myself and ebby's bags load up the car for rose bowl tomorrow because i have to wake up at 2 30 in the morning to be there at four and then i'm leaving right after so what am I going to do with all of these plants? And do I also order another greenhouse? I mean, and these portable greenhouses are all kind of set up the same way where you put them together. But let me show you something that is making me not want to buy another greenhouse. Take a look at this. Do you see this? so now i know i don't know if this was the reason why but honestly i think when the fall happened it it broke because of the rust and if you look at every single section on the bottom it is all rusty so that's a problem so unfortunately this is what i had to deal with three four in the morning i'm now gonna have to take an hour out of my crazy day before leaving the country tomorrow to go and through the plants which it did not look like this i spent an hour to make it look like this because literally it was all out on the floor and i was crying 
do going through this process at in the middle of the morning so comment down below what do you guys think i should do should i buy another greenhouse knowing that they get rusty over the time of having your plants in there imagine now i've had this greenhouse for a couple of years and now the bottom poles are rusty i don't know how it fell over um if you look here my greenhouse is wedged so i just don't know how it could tip forward with all of the plants keeping it grounded and heavy on the shelves it just doesn't make sense to me but literally everything that i've had in the greenhouse is ruined so and this is something I need to think about. I think what I'm going to do uh, for the hour I'm going to invest today with this situation is put aside all of my plants that I think can survive the fall because a lot of them are now dead. And then I'm going to throw away the rest. I'm going to blow this section with my blower and I'm going to throw away the greenhouse. And over the two weeks, and I'll... And I'll read the comments on what you guys think I should do if I should invest in another greenhouse or forget the greenhouse and um, try to live my plant life without one. But honestly, I like the greenhouse pretty much ruined everything that I've had in there propagating or whatever I had in there over the years trying to grow. Yeah. It's just very upsetting and I was really shocked to come home to this in the middle of the night. So I'll wait for the comments to see what you guys think. On the other hand, I will be dealing with this. This is crazy. So here's an upsetting update. I think I'm going to definitely prune off all of the yellow leaves and I think I may make more cuttings out of them I don't know I wasn't expecting to see this much yellow leaves so obviously the plant is not happy that I cut it off from the mother sit plant sit down for mommy sit thank you Jesus for my food bless me make me strong amen and amen please eat your food okay mommy has so much cleaning to do Thank you. All right, and here we are. I gave myself a one hour time limit. So I set my alarm from my phone to clean up this whole situation. It was crazy. And this is the result of what I was able to save. The Tritiscanta is a whole nother thing because I literally can go through each cutting and propagate them, but I just don't have the time because I am in the middle of teaching my clients of the day and I need to pack and get ready for market day and head out of the country tomorrow. But what I'm gonna do now is just blow through this area with my blower and zip up my greenhouse and call it a day. So my goal right now is just to blow through this area and zip up my greenhouse and I, I wish you know the plants luck that I was able to save but basically I lost half of my plants that was in here because this whole greenhouse was full and I don't know, hopefully whatever I'm able to save here will survive the traumatic situation. All right, I'm treating myself to a date shake. This is all the milk I had left. And I have to teach my second client of the day in nine minutes. What a mess. Over here, take a look at this. Brand new leaf on my alocasia, unfurling, and also on my red congo. They love living by the fountain. Babe. Sit. Thank you, Jesus, for my food. Bless me, make me strong, amen. So I just made some sweet potato and I just mixed it in with your dry dog food. So go ahead and eat that. We'll talk in a bit. Vlog, it is a few minutes after five. I'm trying to get my bag as light as possible and I'm trending around 30 something pounds because I want as much as possible my bag to be light so I can bring things back in the bag. Because I know I said this before in the vlog but the airlines that I'm using this trip is only allowing one bag to and from LA and I always have flights that allow me to have two so I never have a problem when it comes to shopping and buying whatever I want but in this case I am only allowed one bag so I feel like 15 pounds is going to add up really quickly when it comes to buying stuff so I did take out two outfits it is going to be on the cooler side it's gonna be like 60s low 70s where i'm going so
so I'm gonna wear a denim jacket and that's gonna be my one jacket for the trip I'm in the middle of packing Evie's bag and then when that's done I'm going to water the collection and load up my car for Rose Bowl because it is tomorrow and that is where I'm at right now slowly getting everything out for the market Evie's crate for the sitter I'm gonna water the plants and then load up the car so take a look at my begonia we have some blooms so I'm gonna pick them and dry them and take them out tomorrow and then we have more blooms more blooms on this side as well look at how pretty that is so these are the blooms i'm gonna dry overnight i have a few left of my hoya compacta as well so begonias are very hard to dry because they brown when they dry and then we have some of my last hoya compacta blooms so this is what they look dried so i'll check on the blooms tomorrow before i go to the rose bowl to seven Evie's bag is pretty much packed uh, the fern in front of the main house is growing asparagus fern and this is what I put in my art so I'm gonna cut this up and put this into silica gel check on it tomorrow with the other blooms I've shared this on both of the channels many of times I know honey I know I see you I see you that's it that's it so she just took a shower with her mommy so she's nice and clean and we're gonna head to drop her off at her sitters in the next hour. Abby, you ready to go to your sitters? We'll leave in an hour, okay? Good girl. Abby, I'm gonna miss you, honey bunny. Oh my goodness, look at that cute face. You're nice and clean. Right, heading to the sitters. This one is 10 miles from us. Poor Munchkin, she's shivering all nervous. It is 9.30 at night and I need to head to the Rose Bowl and be there at 4 in the morning. Alright, here we are wrapping up the last work day before I hop on the plane. And I have to be at the airport in 13 hours. So it is almost 4 o'clock and I decided to get there a little after 4 because last month there was such a long queue of cars that it's kind of like pointless for me to be in that line and I didn't get to the gate till 4.30 right, Here we are approaching Rose Bowl, it's a quarter after 4 so let's see the lines are finally moving in but yeah I realized that I don't have to be here at 4 because I'm like waiting like for half an hour behind cars because people show up way before 4 o'clock so now that the gates are open, we can go in. Look at this craziness. So now, let's go to the back of this queue here. Look at this. Crazy. And look, look at how nice this is. No line. The line is already gone. I think this is better to come a quarter after four. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the smartest thing I did. Yep, look at this, I'm right at the gate. Okay, noted. Come at 420, two, 419. And I'll have to wait in that line of queue for nothing. Look at this. When you come a little later, the line's gone. The smartest thing for me to do. Now to get in. I came to the ticket office at 4 something in the morning for nothing. But at least now I know I got my questions answered. And I'll come back in December to explore other possibilities of me. Alright, so 4.30 in the morning. I'll have some time to go walk around if I want. 
but as you see the whole arts and crafts section they start late to set up like they won't be coming till maybe around six seven to set up but i like to be able to take my time and also at run use the bathroom maybe go to the other side check out the vendors really quickly all right i just see like one or two vendors in this section with their tent up Nobody likes coming early. Okay, so it's almost five o'clock and I think I'm gonna do my layout like this today. And I didn't bring my third six foot long table, which is my one of my original heavy ones because I just wanted to be on the lighter side today. But because I have tents on both sides of me at this market, literally pole to pole, and I hang my art on my frame of my tent, it doesn't give a lot of people room to walk in, I noticed. When I had my smaller table, in the center or like i made it in a big u when i had three six foot long tables and it just gave like this much space for people to walk through so now that i glued them together as you can see there's more walkway here and then i decided to bring my smaller table today to just make it easier for me weight wise and then I'll be back here making my art. So this is the layout and I think it's gonna be better because I'll be able to hang my art probably here in the center and like in the back corners here. I don't know, we'll see who's next to me and how they make their booth, but there's gonna be more walking path on both sides. So this is the first time I do this layout. I think it's gonna work out better for this market. I'm check 6.36 in the morning and I'm officially set up and it is freezing. I'm wearing shorts and slippers, but it's going to be hot once the sun comes up. And as you can see, there is more people set up. Let's see if anybody sets up on this side, but probably a standby ticket holder like I was. If anything, so here we go. Grandma's mask, keychains here, my bookmarks, my little workbench, my earrings on the other side. And I really like this because I can have a bunch of hanging art here and there's room for people to walk on both sides of my table. With my ornaments, I'll make more when I'm back from traveling. My bigger pieces and my magnets. So, time check. I, look, look, I'm walking with Epi's blanket around my legs. I just, last time I vented with jeans on, it was hot and the Rose Bowl gets crazy hot. So, I want to go and run and use the bathroom. People are already shopping. And let's just get this day over with. I'm on three hours of sleep and I actually am drinking my latte from the restaurant from Vegas that I brought over. Quick bathroom break. As I look at all of the vendors that are in this section. All right, sun is coming up. Back, all right, sun's coming up. Woo! Can't wait for the sun to come out. I see a lot of vendors that I see at the other markets I do. Like this one I'm passing has been at the Venice market. I see them. Chili. weather's warming up it's 11 o'clock i want to give a big shout out to sonia for my strawberry lemonade so good i was freezing cold all day it was in the 50s my hands were frozen 
I can't wait to sleep on the plane. I only had three hours of sleep last night and three hours of sleep the night before. Cheers! Alright, so this is my latest moon piece that I'm creating. I must have made this moon, I don't know, a month or so, two, may two months maybe ago. It's been in my stash, so I'm gonna create a mini moon catcher. So cute. I think I'm going to add a bunch of crystals on the bottom just because there's a fern in here. I kind of want it simple. Here it is, here it is, my little mini moon sun catcher. Super cute. I have a butterfly charm, crystals on the bottom with a little star charm. So this one is up for sale. And let's see by the time this vlog goes live if it'll still be in the shop or not. your belly dance. Yeah. Oh my god. This is so perfect for Sarah. I can't wait to tell her about you. And she's gonna look it all up. That's great. Yeah. So do you want it together in the same jump ring or do you want two separate jump rings? What do you think Emma? I think it's good on the same jump ring. Oh, so cute. Oh, so oh that's darling. With the double pour. Thank you. <laughs> Here's another one. I wanted something simple. First time making this setup design with the single Pantia. So cute. This one is up for sale. I love it a lot. It's getting busy out here and it's currently 12.21. So about two hours, I'm gonna start breaking down. Vlog, look, I just made this and it's already going to its new home. That was pretty quick. Tristan. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> so, I thought I'd come by and visit. Yes, happy Sunday. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Right, just made this and it's leaving. <laughs> Tristan. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shout out to Tristan. <laughs> Do you like it? It's good. Very cute. Cutest setup today we have. Bookmark with a resin star. I always like seeing resin charms added on because I made it. Look how cute that is. Let me go get on Super cute. This may be the cutest keychain setup today shades of blue and I love the contrast with the white resin heart so cute look at that fun trade with the candle vendor All right shout out to my neighbor over there across so my neighbor my neighbor across the way we did a fun trade the daughter got a keychain set up, which I thought was super cute, and she got candles. So here I have more candles for my staff. Yeah, I told you don't touch the table. <laughs> I touched the little one. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. You're very welcome. Sid, thanks for helping me. You're welcome. Do, now, does it get all of me when I when they do this? No. I, so okay. Yeah, right there. You want to show the vlog what you got? It's perfect. It's homemade, isn't that cool? Yeah, that is like. That's like planter swag. It takes that lady like a like a, a week to do. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm digging it. You're digging dirt. Yes. Soon. <laughs> Just a quick update on the Monstera Adonsonia, or at least the mother plant. Um, I'm heading to the airport and take a look at this. So hopefully the rest of the top of the mother plant will do the same. But very happy to report this little update.